This review is brought to you by DwayneWright.com, FileMaker Framework Solutions, virtual one-on-one FileMaker training, consulting, and custom design services. For more information, please visit www.DwayneWright.com. Okay, now this is a second movie in a series that talks about various ways that you can pass data from one global field to another global field. In the previous movie, we did talk about the global field advantage. And now we're going to go ahead and talk about script parameters. So let's go ahead and close up this family and bring up the script parameter option. So let's go ahead and open up script A. In fact, let's not close that up. Let's go ahead and just do a side by side. And let's go ahead and close our debugger for now. So now you can see that this is the script parameter way and this is the global field way. And you can automatically see that we are doing the same thing except for with significantly less script steps. So script A is just calling script B. And if we double click on it, there you can see it's calling script B. And down here we have what's called an optional script parameter. This is a way to pass data to a script that you're about to execute. You can do this from the perform script step option within another script like we are doing. You can also attach it to a button on the layout. You'll see that very same little option down here, script parameter, so when someone clicks on a button you can pass data. And developers are using that in very inventive ways. Sometimes they're passing data about a record, sometimes they're passing command structure, something different that the button behaves differently in different areas. Sometimes they're even using a combination of the two both data and operation inside of the same parameter and then dealing it with the script that is accepting the parameter. So let's, so yeah, so what we're just going to do is we're setting a script parameter. This is what we're sending, just a flat out text string. This could also just be those global fields or any other fields, anything that you wanted to do as a calculated result. And then if we take a look at script B, it's using that same show custom dialog, but in here in the message, instead of all those concatenated fields, it uses a function called get script parameter. So in the button or the script, you have that area where you define what the script parameter is, and then in the destination script, you use the get script parameter function to, I guess you would say, open up that value, and then use it in whichever way you determine in your script. In this case, we're just showing it as a message. So, let's pull up our debugger again. Fire up script A. So here we are performing the script in the parameter that's going to be passed. So we'll go ahead and step into that script. And then down here you can see that in our call stack it tells us that we're in script B and you can see in the script debugger that it knows what parameter and is showing what parameter we are using. Now let's go ahead and execute it. And now you're seeing the custom dialog box that this technique is using the script parameter method. So let's go ahead and close that up and move on to using the script result. The script result is much like the parameter method, only 180 degrees in the different direction. In this case, you are Instead of taking script A and pushing the information to script B, script B is calling script A and pulling the information. So this is how it works. Script B, let's go ahead and close our debugger again. Script B is performing script A. And then it's showing our custom dialog box. In script A, you could have all kinds of steps up there, la yada yada. But the big thing is the exit script step. So in the exit script step, you can see down here that you have a result. So like the script parameter, this is a way to pass data from one script to another script, only this script is passing what it just finished doing. So ideally, this script, script A, would be doing all kinds of stuff, looking around, compiling data and stuff like that. And then as it leaves and goes back to the script that called it, it's passing information. That's via a script result. And that's part of the exit script step. So I just put these in as placeholders. So if we go back to script B, 
we are performing script A, and then script A is sending a script result to us. And if we double click here, you can see that remember previously in the parameter way we had get script parameter as a function. Now we're using a function that's called get script result. And that is a way of unpackaging the data that was sent to it from the previous script. So let's go ahead and run that. And bring up our debugger again. We'll perform script B. And you see the very first thing it does is perform script A. So we'll step into script A. And we'll do the, you know, filler scripts. Now here's exit script, so it's going to leave the script. And then we're going to go back and do our show custom dialog that uses the script result. And now you can see that we have the data that was in our script result. This came from a script result. I guess I didn't really show you that. But if you do the exit script, you can see that the calculation that I'm doing just is a regular text string, but normally you'd have a big old calculated value. So script parameter, pushing data from one script to another. Script result, pulling data from one script to another. Do you have questions or comments about the video you just saw? Please feel free to email me at info at Thank you.